Hey guys, Rock and Robo here with another video on Dragon Ball Zinovus to Hero Coliseum. I'm going to make a quick apology here. I have been up. This will be the third upload today. I'm not planning on doing a lot of uploads and sort of multiple uploads a day. It's just I've got so many extra Dragon Ball Zinovus 2 videos left over at the minute that I thought I'd put a few extra up. Now, three is definitely in excess, but I just had literally. I'm just like recording the voiceover for this after the match. I just had a game where, as you'll see by the title, I was against this guy and he had figures that were level 255. Now, I've not even seen this. I didn't even know that it was even moddable, which I've now found out on PC because I've just looked up on google for anything on 255 and people have been modding it but in a game I haven't seen this before and you'll see I didn't even at the time I didn't even know like I saw their stats and their numbers but I didn't actually see the levels till after the game when I realised when I watched back and I thought that thing had way too much attack or way too much health but here we go, look at his team, as you can see there the hit, gave it away to begin with, and there you go, 255. Every single one of them. Level 255. I don't know how this is possible on PlayStation. Maybe if somebody knows you can tell me below. Something, something to do with level 95 I guess? I don't know. Tell me if you know, I don't, I'm not... I'm not known enough in these things. But yeah, 255, so I was kind of already sort of saying my goodbyes, so to speak. Just like, okay, this guy has massive attack figures. There is literally no way on earth that I can possibly survive against this. I mean, his hit has 11,000 health and his Ultra Instinct Goku has 14,000 attack. What chance have I got against this BS? Fun fact, this is actually a deck I'm using a lot at the minute. Shout out to a guy called Son Santano, who I've played several times. He beats me a lot of the time, just to emphasize that. But shout out to him. He gave me the idea for using the Videl in this deck. I'd actually started using Kid Buu, and he, he used a Kid Buu with a Videl. And that gave me the idea for this, so shout out to him. Awesome guy. I have a lot of fun playing against him. I will try and upload some videos against him in the future, maybe even do some commentary with him. That would be awesome, I'd love to do that if you're watching, so, but yeah, as you can see, my Kid Buu's just been blown away by Merge Zamasu, and now he's going to kick the crap out of my leader, or my master, sorry, and there's nothing I can do, really, look at that, he's going to hit me for over 10,000 with his future Gohan, well, I'd say, I'd given, <laughs> I hadn't given up, but I was just like, Re resigned to my fate, so to speak. But, uh, as I said earlier, three videos definitely will never be happening again unless something like this happens. Two videos will be rare. I've just been doing it because I've got so many videos backed up that if I don't do this, you'll be watching videos next month that I recorded, like, today. And this is the 9th? 7th, sorry, 7th. So, I have to... I have to put two up a day in some instances just so I get caught up. But I say I don't want them to be that far behind. I don't want them being like a week behind or something, but it's just excessive what I've got. I kind of panicked a bit going away on holidays and recorded a bunch of stuff in sort of before I went away. But whatever, I'm sure people won't complain about having an extra Dragon Ball Universe two video a day. There is a temptation to maybe edit them down a bit, but the problem is in games like this, you've got to kind of have the whole thing running, sort of the whole match, to get the taste of it. So I don't know, maybe I'll just merge them into one video and have one 20 to 30 minute video instead of two or three sort of 10 to 15 minute ones. I don't know, tell me below what you'd like to see, whether you prefer longer videos and less of them or shorter ones and with more of them. I'll leave it down to you guys, because you guys have to watch these. I'm just the, the, the idiot who has to come up with the bullshit to say during them. Now here I went three across the board because I, um, I was pretty sure he'd do the same, in all honesty. 
and that maybe I could wipe a couple out, so I knew I'd outspeed in all likelihood. Even though last time RNG screwed me and didn't give me the high numbers, but that's the way it goes sometimes in this, especially when you really need it. But I've got to say, Love and the Videl, very underrated figure. Same with Kid Boo, use them more. Trust me. And the, this turn I easily outsped. Which meant I could go for a low number and still win. And uh, surprisingly enough, against the guy with level 255 figures, I won. I never want to play him again, because that won't happen again, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I was just messing around in some player matches, but anyway, thank you for watching. If you know how this 255 thing works, tell me below. I wouldn't do it, because that makes it cheap and takes away the challenge, but thank you all for watching once again. If you did enjoy this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.